Hello, my loves. I'm sorry for the delay. My name is Anita Manager, and welcome back to Sip and Simmer. We all may have our concerns and worries in life, but during the next 30 minutes, you're mine. We're here to have a drink, a snack, and a good time. Now, before we go on, I want to make an announcement that I will be doing a random giveaway for an Anita Manager t-shirt. I don't know my name today. What is that? Okay, so this is one of the shirts. All right, so what I'm going to need you to do is pay attention. The weeks at Sim Sip and Simmer are Saturday through Thursday. I'll announce the winner of each week um, on Mama Mondays. All you have to do for eligibility is post your favorite food emoji right now. Peace. Food emoji. I wanna see all the food emojis. Thank you in the comments and post this video to your Facebook page now. I wanna see a lot of shares, thank you. Okay, so on every Monday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a random winner. I wanna make sure that you have shared the video and that you have posted your favorite food emoji and I will privately message you. Now. This episode of Sip and Simmer, we will be making whiskey sours with a homemade uh, sour mix, yeast donuts, and fruit roll-ups. If you would like to contribute to the production of Sip and Simmer, please Venmo me. My Venmo is Anita underscore manager, and all the proceeds do go to making all of our foods and snacks and all of the good times that we have here. Now, this episode, we have Sienna Rose joining us from her recent mini tour at Troop 429, where she hosted a Gaga evening, virtually, of course. And now, I need a minute. Today, I want to talk about control. I lost a little bit of control today. I was supposed to have a story time, and there was a whole bunch of technical difficulties, and it was postponed till tomorrow. I'm better. I'm over it. It's going to be great. So... More specifically, I want to talk about not having control of something you care about. Sometimes you are out of control or you lose control part way. If you're anything like me, you wonder what you could have done to make it smoother, better, or to have kept your control. Maybe you feel like screaming, crying in your car, the list goes on. Here's the lesson that a lot of us, myself included, have a hard time learning. It's okay to not have control. It's okay for some things to go wrong and differently than you had planned. It's okay to be upset when things happen. It's normal to feel sad and even piss off. The problem is if you refuse to accept the things that don't happen the way you planned or continue to remain angry or bitter or upset, uh, accepting something that doesn't go to plan doesn't mean you approve of the outcome, but it does mean that you can let go of that pain and sadness and anger and put your energy towards fixing it, committing, committing those feelings towards your next project. Of course, it's a lot easier said than done, but it's a lot easier for you to work towards putting that into practice. My ways of getting through things when they don't go to plan are usually having a full-blown temper tantrum as an adult, which is fine, writing down my thoughts, which is a little bit more constructive, or I like to talk to somebody about it. Obviously, the last one is the most productive and the most beneficial. I think that everybody, including myself, um, it, it's important to have somebody that you can talk to and somebody that's being a willing ear for you. I found that writing down my thoughts helped me express myself more clearly to whoever I end up talking to. However, if you do decide the best way to express your feelings is the healthiest way. The important thing isn't the method or the way that you handle it. It's the fact that you're letting yourself accept when things are and letting yourself not only be upset as you need to be, but also free enough to move forward. That's my emotion for the day. Good. I'm happy, I'm excited about story time tomorrow. I'm super excited to welcome Sienna on after her performance this evening. But before we invite her, why don't we get started with making a drink? Now, we're going to start with making my whiskey sour mix, which is a hundred times easier than you think it is, and it's made with stuff that you have in the house. 
So in my jar here, I have three, quarter, um, three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. I have one cup of lemon juice. I'm gonna pour the lemon juice into my honey. Can you tell that I planned this? Look how perfectly that fits. All right, so I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna shake it to dissolve the honey into the lemon juice. You make a mess everywhere. I don't know if you can see all the splashes going everywhere. We have dogs, so clean it up. Okay, that's sour mix. It does not get any easier than that. Okay, here I have my shaker. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my whiskey and I like to do equal parts. You should put a little bit more sour mix, but if you're using a decent whiskey, equal parts is just fine. So I'm going to pour one cup of whiskey One cup of my homemade sour. Ooh, gotta pour that in first. She's in a rush tonight, apparently. All right, now I've got a cup of my sour mix. And I'm just gonna do a shot of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Right in there. Perfect. In goes the sour mix. The most important thing in life is make sure that your mixer is big enough. All right. And you're going to want to shake this a little bit more than you normally would because there is the honey in there. Or I'm sorry, not honey, maple syrup. Um, you want to make sure that you mix it enough so that way the honey doesn't sink to the bottom. If I say honey, again, it's maple syrup from Vermont. It's very expensive. All right, I've got my tumblers here. And I'm just gonna give that a pour. You're gonna notice that this isn't gonna be as yellow as when you order a whiskey sour from a bar because we're not using any preservatives or anything in the sour mix. But I'll tell you right now, that's even better than you would get in a bar. The maple syrup, got it right that time adds so much flavor and I've used a barrel aged like bourbon. Oh, it's so good. I didn't have any today, but it's so delicious. All right, so I'm not drinking alone. Why don't we welcome on Miss Sienna Rose. I'm here, just in time. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, let's Ooh, start with you. this. Yes. A cheers and congratulations on your fantastic performance. Thank you. Cheers. You're Anita Minute tonight. I wouldn't know anything about a temper tantrum. <laughs> that was needed. Ooh, this show is turning me into a whiskey drinker. Isn't it fantastic? It really is. All right, before we move on, why don't you tell everybody watching where they can find you on social media? You can find me on social media at Sienna Rose Official on Instagram and my Venmo. And, uh... If you're on my Instagram, in the bio, I have a link in the bio that leads to a very special website. And to make your very first Monday even more spectacular of the giveaway, I'm going to add in a Sienna Rose t-shirt. Yes! So your viewers get not one, but two. And my t-shirt looks like this. Thank you, production assistant. Look at that. <laughs> Sienna Rose, look at that. Come through with the long yes. sleeves. Yes! Where's my... See, you have spring... And fall. Look at that. All I love one. that. Two for one for the very first Monday's giveaway. Yes. Yes. And if you don't win, don't feel bad. I do have my link up to buy more of these in my Instagram. Link in bio. And also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I will be doing the giveaway every single week. So make sure you like, share, and comment your favorite food emoji. Yes. All right? Mm-hmm. All right. So before we move on again... How was the performance? It looked oh, it was amazing. Fun. It was I'm a little out of breath because, you know, thank God we live close to truth. Because, uh, <laughs> whew, Cutting it close. Right? But I'm here. I mean, I normally wouldn't cook in the kitchen in this, but tonight <laughs> it's, you know, it's just for you. I love that we both have, like, the midriffs. Yeah. Uh-huh. For me, this is 90s nostalgia week, so we'll be making all of our favorite snacks from the 90s. Ooh, I can't wait. Um, so when I think 90s, I think midriffs. I think weird fabrics. I think... Pairing fabrics together that shouldn't go together, like these leopard prints aren't the same. Or just things that shouldn't go together, like you and me. But we work so well together. Exactly. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, we are going to move on 
with our yeast donuts. Now that Ooh. sounds gross, but basically they're Krispy Kreme donuts. Um, are we allowed to say things like I think if we change the K to a C, we're good. Okay, so they're uh, Krispy Kreme with a C and a C mm -hmm. donuts. Yes. They're super delicious, super easy to make, and they taste exactly like when you get them at Krispy Kreme when they come out of the fryer. Yes, at three o'clock in the morning? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, what I have here is my milk. Okay. I have a cup and a quarter of milk that is roughly 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. I have my yeast. I'm going to pour that in. And I have a full two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, which if you buy the packets, it's just one packet. Oh, perfect. All right. So, it's just under a tablespoon. So I'm gonna let that chill for a sec. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of my shaker, my measuring cup, and I'm going to grab my flour. Look at that. All right, so now my flour here. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna put in my flour? You can't cheat, because I'm not even, it's not listed. You're going, I'm, I'm going to assume it's one of the things lining up here. So, more dry ingredients. Yes. So... What do you not put in the yeast? You don't put in the sugar. No, you do. You do it. put in the sugar. You don't put in the eggs. The salt. The salt. The salt, because the salt will... Kill the yeast. There it is. Okay, now typically what you want to do is you want to put your sugar in with your liquid, but since we're using milk, you don't have to because there's enough protein and sugar in the milk naturally to feed the yeast for it to... One more time? Got it. Okay. So, in our bowl here, I have, um, how much flour? I have... Four and a half... Four and a half cups. cups. Yes. All right. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to mix it, and I just want to incorporate the salt. You don't have to go crazy. All right. So then in my mixer, I'm going to pour... I have a full stick of butter here that I have melted and brought back to room temperature. Okay. Uh, the important reason for that is something scientific that I don't know because I'm not a scientist. I'm sure somebody, my husband, I was just gonna say, <laughs> will tell you why you <laughs> melt it and put it in, but I don't know. So you melt it, you let it get to room temperature because it does something. How's that? All right. So in that, I'm gonna put two eggs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of vanilla. Ooh. And this is where the sugar comes in. I'm going to put in half a uh, quarter cup of sugar. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the mixer on just to incorporate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not to go crazy because once we pour the yeast in, um, it will, the, the milk and the yeast, it'll be able to mix more. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Literally just a quick. Oh, that's it. That was easy. You just really want to break up the eggs and get everything mushed together. Okay. All right, cool. So our yeast is already activated in the milk. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pour that into the rest of our liquids. Okay. And then we're going to give this a less vigorous spin mm. because we don't want it to splash all over the place and get all over our beautiful clothes. Exactly. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is, this is what makes the recipe so much easier than a lot of other recipes that you're using yeast. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go slow with the flour. I'm gonna dump in about half, mix it, let it get gummy, okay. and then I'm gonna pour the rest in. That's Super simple. All right, that feels like half. Sure. So what was your favorite part of your performance tonight? Um, Trying to time out my costume changes to <laughs> the songs that DJ OMG Yes Queen was playing. He sent me those earlier in the week so I could like practice and time myself out. And I got it down. I was really proud of myself. A couple of times for the last two performances, I actually had a couple extra seconds to spare to catch okay. my breath. So I wasn't, you know, going crazy. Well, and, uh, I don't believe that. What? I went crazy before the performance, not after. And uh, if you're wondering where you can see the performance, head on over to Troop 429's Facebook page, and it's streaming over there. Oh, they're replaying it? Yeah. Oh, okay. the live video, and they save it, and it plays there, you know, over and over on a loop. See, I think that's how it works, right? And it only yeah. took me, what, two weeks to realize that you could save a live video? Look at that. Progress. Speaking of saving a live video, thank you. Um, in the next day or so, I will be archiving all of the um, Sip and Simmers 
Say it again. YouTube. Archiving. Ooh. Um, I'm not going to be streaming there. It's solely so that way you can go back, rewatch your favorite episodes, find your favorite recipes. Um, and I was told by my good Judy here that you can make a playlist. A playlist. Mm -hmm. See that? That's what people don't know about these things. Yeah, so we can put all of our theme weeks in a whole playlist for you guys and you can just them all in one shot. So all of Bread Week, all you have to do is just go on her YouTube page, type in Bread Week, all those videos will be right there. And just to make things even easier, I will be posting the recipes in the description. Look at that! Because a lot of people have been messaging me for the recipes and mm -hmm. it's hard to find them on my Facebook page because I do post a lot. You do. Um, a lot. But yeah. Okay. So there's that. Mark. I am so excited to do this giveaway. I can't even tell you. I know. It's going to be exciting. Speaking of giveaways, mm -hmm. I'm going to plug it. I don't know if I'm allowed to. I would do even, it. I didn't even mm -hmm. talk to them about it. Do it. Okay. So tomorrow during my story time, uh -huh. um, we will be doing a giveaway also. Oh my gosh. And you can get a t-shirt of mine, mm -hmm. but also the ABCs of Identities. It's a local author. Her book is available at the Norwalk Library. Um, if I can find the link, I have it somewhere. I'll post mm -hmm. it in the... Um, post-production thank you message. Uh, it's a great book. It's a kid's book, but mm -hmm. I really like the message that it sends, and it, it's great. Just read it. I can't even go into it. There's right. so much in it. It's just... I read it at almost all of my story times in the beginning. I pick a few of my favorite pages. Mm -hmm. so. That's cute. I like that. Okay. So, my dough is done enough. Okay, and on that dough, you're using which attachment? The Captain Dough Hook. The Dough Hook, my favorite. I can't call it anything but the Captain Dough. I know. Now. You're welcome. All right. So, on a floured surface, mm -hmm. I'm going to start to knead this. And Do again, that. I keep on saying it, this is so simple. Mm -hmm. You really don't need to do a lot of work. The kneading is just until it's smooth. You don't have to go crazy. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to turn this guy over. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna get some flour on my hands. And you're gonna release the gases from the yeast. Well, no, not yet. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> but yes, we will be doing that. So what you're gonna do is after I get this all nice and mixed, uh -huh. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a greased bowl. Right, with Crisco. Right, because we love us some Crisco. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. I'm feeling very 70s with this hair and the head I thing, see it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna knead this until it's nice and mixed. And what we are going to do now is Sienna yes. is going to start making our fruit roll-ups. Yes, I am. After this drink. Okay, so honest to God, learn from your mistakes. We're moving down, away from the flames. There we go. Just um, put me in front of it. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> okay, so right in here, there is a little black pot for you. Bam. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the back burner because we don't want to melt. Exactly. And you are going to turn it up. Nope. Not the front one. There Got you go. it. Okay, so now I want you to follow the recipe because when I tell you this could not be easier. We'll see. You can let your toddlers do this. For real, it is super supervised. Supervise your kids with the flames. Mm -hmm. Adults start fires. Wow. Watch your kids. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna scroll down to the recipe. Mm -hmm. What am I putting in this pot? And she is going to. All right. So now, what kind of heat should this? So you be want it on a medium heat, heat. heat? Medium. Okay. Right. So I was like, okay, got it. Well, you want it on a medium heat until you get everything in. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to put in half a cup of water. Half a cup of water. Okay. Perfect. Look at this. I mean, not spill it. Woo! Beautiful. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lies a teaspoon of lemon juice. Oh. Okay. And a tablespoon of honey. Okay. I feel like this isn't going to... You have a, a spatula. I do have a spatula. All right, and I just need the bowl that has the already prepared dough on it, in it, on it, on it. Pronouns. <laughs> Adverbs? Adjective? I don't know. Words? We're not mathematicians here. No, we're not. 
Okay. And Who said cooking is a science? And now you are going to put in two cups of your favorite berries. Okay. You can put a half a cup of every berry you like. You could put in one kind of berry, as long as you put in two cups of fresh berries. Fresh, not frozen. Right. So just these right into the pot. Yep, right into the pot. Once you stir that, mm -hmm. I'm going to take my kneaded dough and I'm going to put saran wrap over and I'm going to let it sit for an hour. Okay. After that hour is up, should this is what it should look like. Should I be folding in the berries? You just or? want to stir okay. it. And then once it comes to a complete simmer, you can just leave it alone. Which means? Bubbles. Got it. Okay. And while she's waiting for bubbles, I'm going to roll out my dough and what you want to do is you don't need to knead it at this point because you're going to be rolling it out and it's going to let the gases out so i have my rolling pin ready mm -hmm. and i'm just going to roll it until it's about quarter of an inch to a half an inch thick you don't want it to be too thin otherwise you're going to have thin donuts and that's mm -hmm. not as... you want it nice and thick donuts. right oh. Cheers. Special word. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. episode. Delish. Okay. So, now that I've got my dough rolled out. Uh-huh. It's beautiful. What I'm going to do is I have two cookie cutters here. Now, I know that we have a lot of gay men that watch this, right? Do we? We do. So I'm going to be specific. Okay. If you don't know what an inch is, use a ruler. You want a three inch cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. You want a three inch cookie cutter and a one inch cookie cutter. So a regular inch, not a gay inch. Right. Got it. Exactly. This is not an inch. This is an inch. All right. So what you're going to do is you're just, you just going to ruin some people's nights. <laughs> you're just going to go in and get as many as you can mm -hmm. out of how much dough you rolled out. And I like to do one at a time because I'm impatient and I like to do things quickly. I'm supposed to see bubbles in this? This is taking forever. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I, out of the first batch that I did, I think I got a dozen donuts. Okay. Um, and then I got maybe like 15, 20 uh, donut holes. Because we don't like to waste, yeah, right? Of course not. Especially when it's homemade donuts. Right. So then I'm going to go back into the center of my dough and I'm going to pop out those donut holes. Ew. So that way they look... Like a pineapple like that. thing. A pineapple round, yeah. yeah. Similar, yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep on doing this. Okay, I'm going to keep And stirring. then what you can do is after you pop out all of your donuts in your donut holes, out of any of the negative space between the donuts, you can use your one inch cookie cutter and then smash up the dough back together and then re-roll it out. Uh-huh, it's hot. And then go from there. All right, so what I'm going to do because TV magic, Ooh. I'm going to put this and I'm gonna let that dough again raise for another, um, hour another full hour and then i have my pot here okay. if i could just have some canola oil i'm gonna get this nice and hot it's gonna be warm in here it's, tonight it's already very warm in here i picked the wrong night to wear a headband uh-huh oh my goodness i'm extra flammable tonight well we're just making sure that we know what we're doing and uh -huh. that we are taking the right precautions yes we are okay so whenever you have me stirring like this i feel like a witch over her brew <laughs> all right i just need a little bit more canola oil what you want to do is you want to make sure that the canola oil is at least an inch deep so that way the donuts can float mm -hmm. and you have enough space to flip them over right because you want to make sure that you can fry them on um, each side for like two minutes if that 
Okay. Like two minutes oh, is so a very short time. Two minutes is a really long time. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that your oil is about 350 degrees. I don't know why I backed up like I thought it was gonna like <laughs> hot, greasy oil. Okay. So now that I've got that going, I've got my thermometer here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna pop that in and I'm gonna wait for it to get to the right temperature. Yep. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you can't see the temperature then. That's fine. I know it's going to take a minute. All right. No. All right. So I'm just going to grab my already risen donuts uh, so that everybody can see what they look like. Okay. As I half-ass wash my hands because we all know that dirty. Mm -hmm. right. So. I mean, um, before we started, your hands were already washed, so they were clean. Exactly. All right, so this is what they're going to look like when you're finished. Ooh. So they should double in size again. Um, so there's that. I am going gaga for donuts. I love donuts. So we have a minute. Should we play a game? Let's do it while I melt my hand off. Actually, that's That's, that's done perfect. Scenario. Love it. I okay. love that for me. So, once that is at a simmer, you're going to turn it all the way down and you're going to let it sit for 10 well, minutes. Well, that's simmering. I'm going to sip. Oh, look at how that worked out. Uh, Somebody like that joke. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this homemade sour mix. Me too. It's really delicious. Okay. Can you confirm for me that this envelope is sealed? I can. All right. So this game is called The Elusive Envelope. Ooh. I did not write the words. She did not write the words. Neither one of us know the words. We don't. I believe if it was done correctly, there should be seven words in here. We're gonna find out. So, the, the point of the game is you pick a word and you have to describe it in single words and you get five words. Okay. All right. Let me just see what we're Check at. Check our oil. Not I don't right. know how you read that thing, but okay. All right, so do you want to go first or second? Am I giving or receiving first? I don't, I don't know what first and second is here. Bye, girl. No, because you said first. Am I answering first? What would you like to do first? I mean, whatever you want. All right, so I'll read the, the word first. Somebody guess first. Right, got it. So I have to give her five words that describe this without saying the word. Okay. I'm a little nervous. All right, are you ready? We'll see. Can you face that way for me? Well, I'm gonna tell them what the word oh, is. Okay. Can you see that? Here, hold on. Oh, it's backwards, but you know, you can read, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Ready? Can I turn around? Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's in the kitchen. Right. Oh, wait. That's more than one word. In the kitchen, so you have two <laughs> words left. Uh, you, uh, used. You, okay. Used. Uh, like once for tonight. <laughs> tonight. Used tonight. That's a whole lot of stuff. I'm, come on. Pan, pot, stove. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got one guess. No. No. Yes, you got one guess. So take your time. It's in the kitchen that was used tonight. I get one guess. This is so unfair. Didn't I say white? I said white. No, you didn't. I said white. That was my other word. No, you said in the kitchen used tonight. That's five words. So it's white. So I'm I cheated. Guess towel, mapina. No. Oh, well. It was spatula. Well, you failed. Hardcore. All right. So while you pick your word, mm -hmm. I won't cheat. You show them, okay. and what I'm gonna do Even is I'm, I'm gonna pop the first round of donuts in. So when you're popping your donuts into the oh, oil, it's like a whole you wanna make thing. sure that you don't overcrowd the pan. One, so they don't stick together, and two, because you don't wanna change the temperature of the oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in three, maybe four donuts. While she's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys the word. This is the word, let me do the, do y'all see it? Okay. It's my game and I didn't play it right. Right? Okay. What do I do with the word once it's... I just... Yeah, swallow it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Did you really put it in your mouth? <laughs> yeah. 
Lady Gaga did that on David Letterman when she didn't like the question, so she snatched it from him and she ate it. Um, so I'm just in character so tonight. So, to be, I didn't give you the context. Aaron picked the words. Okay. So that explains their randomness and their difficulty. Okay. I've only seen, like I said, I've only seen the word spatula. So right. I don't know how difficult the rest of the words are. But okay. So I, I get have a feeling that this right? isn't going to be very. I have five words. Yeah, and don't mess up like I did. Okay. <laughs> the game right. Brown. Sweet. Delectable. Rectangular. And. Um. How do I describe this word? Let's go with, mm, how would you guys describe this word? Give, give me one word in the comments what you would use to describe this word. Um, let's also go Brown, with... Brown, sweet, rectangular. Yes. Um, brown, sweet, rectangular. That's three, right? Yes. No, brown, sweet, rectangular. Yeah, you have two more. Delectable. Delectable. And Pennsylvania. Chocolate! Yeah! Yes! Oh my god, okay. So that's a point for you, right? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, where did you put the envelope? Oh. I, I don't know where I put it. Oh. All okay. right. I'm just looking all over for it. You're gonna give me a moment to read this. I have to flip my dough off. Like I said, the first Sorry. batch is already out, so you can see how really quick these guys cook. Okay. I'll entertain myself in the mirror. Okay. Right. That's a door, not a mirror. It's, I can see my reflection, so I'm gonna right. to me. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Face. Okay. Clear. Okay. Plastic. Uh-huh. How many is that? Is that three? That's three. Face. Clear. Plastic. plastic. Fitted. Fitted. Aaron. Aaron. Um. Is it... And it's just a single word. They're always just going to be one word. Okay. Um, Can you put this on this side? Yeah. Aaron. Aaron. So it's probably something that's used in the opto optometrist's office. Um, is it a shield? A mask? No. Nope. No? Um, we'll, do, we'll do three. We have three guesses? Yeah. Oh, glasses. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're one for around. one. Okay. Okay, so before we go on, uh -huh. I'm almost done making a dozen donuts. Oh, look at that. It's so, I'm telling you, it's so quick and easy to make. Mm -hmm. Before we go on, yes. to make the glaze, like the traditional glaze that goes over a glazed donut, donut, right? Right. It is literally four cups of powdered sugar, a dash of salt, and half a cup of milk. Look at that. Why don't you whisk that up for me? Okay. And you want the donuts to come out of the oil and go onto a paper towel, so that way they can dry a little bit before you put on the glaze. And you also want them to cool down so they don't all absorb into the, the glaze into the donuts. Mm -hmm. okay. How did they do in the 1950s? They were like this. Exactly. Okay. Well, I don't know how, this is a lie, I can't know. <laughs> So you awesome. may notice that I have two bowls here. I did. So my favorite way to do this mm -hmm. is I have two bowls. Right. I put a cookie drying rack metal thing. Okay. Over, that have scripted words here. It's over, a pizza shutter in our thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. I put the cookie rack on top of the empty bowl. Excuse me. I drizzle the glaze over two or three donuts. Uh-huh. And... Then I continue to do that until the first bowl is empty. And then I start over, but I just do it backwards from the now filled bowl into the now empty bowl. Okay. So that way it's super quick, it's super easy. Mm hmm And you can get them all done super quick. Okay. Super, 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 super quick. And I think our glaze is ready for our yeast donuts. Okay, perfect. So. I've got the yeast donuts, the Krispy Kreme knockoffs. Right. That is perfect. You're welcome. I'm going to get now the whole handful of 
Not poppers. Uh, donut holes. <laughs> wow. So we got poppers there. We have a white glaze over here. Very family-friendly episode tonight. Okay. So can you just find what I did with the wire rack? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I put it. Okay. Staff. So is it my turn to guess or your turn? No, it's my. Uh, I you have, have to. You give. have to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So while you're working away on that, are there wards in here? There have to be. Oh, they were sliding down. Okay. So, don't look. I can't. Our next word, oh lord. This is our next word. I don't know what I'm going to say about this. Okay. Um, if you guys know any more words to describe this word, put them in the comments below. And the, also, let me see some hearts. I want to see some hearts. Give me some good energy. Um, okay. You ready? Hold on. Get your sip on, girl. Get your sip. Okay. Sit. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I almost said Sit, girl. Down. Down. Um, you sit. Um, living room. I'll use two words for that. Sit. Living room is one-ish word. I'll hyphenate it. Living room. Um, comfortable. Couch. Sofa. Yes. Wait, is that my point or your point? <laughs> it's your game. It's my point. Then. It's your point. Okay. okay. So it's two to one. Uh -huh. Okay. Envelope. Okay. So we're going to let these donuts cool before we drizzle the glaze on them. Okay. Um, before I do this, I'm going to turn off the, the berries. fruit roll up. Mm -hmm. What you need? Uh, Spatula? Nope. There's so much happening. I know. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this hot oil because I don't want to hurt myself. I'm gonna step out of the way. Okay. Flame. All right. So, I'm going to take this. Uh huh. Um, I ran out of bowls, huh? I think so. While you get a bowl, I will remind everybody we are making a bowl. delicious that, yeast donuts that are Krispy Kreme knockoffs with a. Uh, Power sugar glaze. We're making a fruit by the foot, and we are already made whiskey sour with a homemade uh, sour mix. Sour mix, yes. There you go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is because we got new pots, I'm going to pour this into the bowl, and you're gonna take the immersion blender and you're just gonna fully mix that. Right, immersion blender is right over here. Okay. And I know how to use this because I have done this before. Not gonna press turbo. And uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, we gotta hold it tight. Okay. And that's literally the extent of the fruit roll. So you have two cups of berries. Oh, this smells just like a fruit by the foot. I swear right? to God. Oh, oh my that's God. Fruit by the foot. Okay, so you've got two cups of whatever your berries are, half a cup of water and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, after that is completely um, blended with the immersion blender, you, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can put it in a blender, you can put it in a food processor, just make sure that you make an air hole in it so that way it doesn't explode because of the heat. You just wanna make sure- What's gonna explode? So if you use the blender or the food processor without opening it, it will pop from the- Oh, not what I'm doing. No. Okay. I just heard it explode and I got nervous. Okay, so you're gonna pour that for a sieve, which is this guy. I think this is done. Yeah. You're gonna pour it through this. Mm hmm. And you're gonna put it onto a parchment. Okay, I'm just gonna take that because it's okay. like it's very hot. super okay. hot yes. syrup. All right, so you're going to pour this through the sieve. You're gonna okay. put it onto a That's parchment, a parchment lined uh, cookie sheet. And you're gonna put it in the oven at 150 degrees for eight hours. That's a long time. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. But that's a work day. That is a work day. So if you're Do you remember work? Oh, work. I remember it. Um so the point of putting it in the oven for eight hours mm -hmm. is because you're basically making like a leather. So you want you're to dehydrate. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. See, I know some words. Okay, so it's my turn to pick a word, right? Do I need the sieve? No, because we'll just take the other ones out of the. Oh, I tried. Okay, so it's my turn to pick a word? Yes. Okay, so how do you feel about drizzling? I 
can try. I don't normally drizzle, but I'll try. Are you usually the drizzly? Yeah, I like to eat uh, glazed donuts. Yep. All right. So you can see here, I put the donuts on the wire rack over the empty bowl. Okay. And right. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. And you're just gonna literally just pour it straight over the donuts into the bowl. The whole thing though? As much as you need, just to coat what, the donuts. What if we just like... Actually, well, you wanna make sure that you fully coat them. I'm going to fully coat them, don't you worry about it. All okay. right. Don't you worry about a thing. That's a song. So she's coating, I'm picking. We're gonna get I'm Okay, ready? Lord. Oh, for the love of God. It's messy. All right. Oh wait, I'll hold it backwards and you can read it. Look at that. Is that how that works? Okay, ready? Sure. I got no choice. Library. Okay. Uh, internet. Okay. Keyboard. Yep. Mouse. Computer. Yes! Okay. Yay. So now we're two for two. Cool. Um, I don't know how many are left. The in donuts there. are drizzled. I thought there were seven. Seven what? Words. Well, you did three, I did three. So this is the tiebreaker. Okay, ooh. Give me my word. Give me my word. <sighs> Damn it. Give me my word. You picked seven, you picked the odd number. Oh, I didn't even think about it. What? The odd word. Oh. All right. So, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna flip these over. No, there's more than one. Oh, okay, there, There's yeah. two left. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna take this one. All right, so I'm just gonna drizzle the other side of this donut. Okay, while she does that, I'm gonna show you guys the word. What is this? Oh, I got really nervous because it was upside down. This is the word. Oh, we'll do it Anita style. I guess, yeah, you can see that, okay. All right. Um, are you ready? <clears throat> Honestly? Smart. Mm-hmm, okay. Let me get some inspiration. <coughs> oh, I almost said the word. Um, oh. This isn't a good idea. Oh, um, All right. Sharp. Okay. Weapon. Kitchen utensil. Um, steel. Knife. Yes. All okay. right. Is that your so, point or mine? I still don't understand this game. It's my point. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plate the donuts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for my word. Okay, it's right here. Okay, so if she gets this one, somebody on the staff will take a piece of paper, write down a random word, and uh, you'll give it to me. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't look at the camera. Sorry. Okay, ready? I think so. Computer. Okay. Books. Yep. Those are those things where you open, there's words oh, in them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, Computer books. Uh, story. Reading. I got one more? Yeah. Uh, um, children. Excuse me, let's switch. Computer, library, reading, children. What was the other word? Did I say books? Books. Uh, oh yeah, because I had to explain what they were to you. Come on. I don't know. You're gonna be really mad. Computer plus children plus books. Okay, so the reason that I was prolonging this is so you guys could see the way, while she thinks, um, how I do this. So I drizzle over the donuts, and now the first bowl that I was using is empty. I'm just going to transfer over the rack onto that bowl, and now I've got all the glaze in this bowl. And I'm just gonna um, continue to pour. No cheating! Um, let's go, children plus books, Plus, uh, it's one word. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um. Ooh, you uh, have until I finish glazing these donuts. Scholastic. That's 
weird. Oh, no. That's a that's a great word. <laughs> Thank you. That's the only I could think of. Children plus like scholastic books when you read when you were a child. That's where my mind went. Okay, I'll give you that. That that is a great SAT word. Uh, but is it an no, SAT word? I don't know. Anytime there's a word that I'm like, oh, I don't use that every day. I call it an SAT word. Uh, anyway. The word was library, which means I Did win. Did you say library? I said it when I was describing computer. What? I said library when I was describing what a computer was. Oh, we all win. Okay, so should we do a two-point round? Yes. While I finish glazing? Let's do it, and I'll give. Because I'm better at that. Clearly. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. This is hateful. This is our new word. It's hateful. I don't know if you all can see. Oh, the lights are very bright. This is backwards, but that's the word. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Um, production assistant's former name here. What? Former? Production assistant's former name here. I mean, that's really cheating, but... Is it? Yeah, they're supposed to be individual words. Was that explained in the directions to you? Because I must have missed that. But what's the word, girl? Former Can't... production assistant. Production assistant's former name. I... I think. Mean, think. I'm the only one who's married. So I would what be... What does that have to do with anything? A former name. My maiden name. No, no, no. Production assistant's former name. Production assistant. The help. Girl, you got real racist. No, production assistant. Staff. Yes! <laughs> That's two points for me, I win. Uh, you always win. I do, I'm better at this than you. All right, so. You're better in the kitchen, I'm better at games. I am finishing Glazing these donuts. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go into the oven okay. and grab the already done for roll ups and we can show them how to do those? Let's do it. Alright. Come in it. Doesn't fit on my rings, but is this on? Ooh, that smells good. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to show them what the finished product looks like? Just lift it up. Okay. I gotta get the angle right. I don't want to slide off the thing. Okay. This. It looks like this. So that's really all that it's going to <laughs> sure. Okay. So it's going to look pretty wonky uh, when you take it out of the oven. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to do is you're going to roll Those it up. Those are delicious, by the way. Right? You're going to just take it and roll it up like a uh, fruit by the foot. Long ways, horizontal, so diagonally. So if you do it this way, mm -hmm. you get more of them. If you do it this way, you get longer ones. What do we want? Do we want flip by the fruit or we want more? What do you want? Staff? Do you want longer rolls? Staff, what do you want? Or do they you want, want longer ones? Longer? Okay. okay. This is hot. A little bit. Do we want tight coils or do we want them loose? You want it tight because okay. you want to be able to unroll it like you do for benefit. And I've got my last two donuts here. Okay. Speaking of donuts, Anita, what is your favorite kind of donut to eat? Oh my god, that's a loaded question. You oh. can't ask a big person a favorite donut because the answer is always all of them. I love donuts. Okay. I like, um, so Dunkin' Donuts coffee is horrible. Okay. I love the frosted donuts with sprinkles. Because you could literally put... The strawberry frosted? Yes. That is my favorite donut. You could put sprinkles on manure and I would contemplate eating it. Okay. I love sprinkles so much, it's disgusting. See, I get donuts without the sprinkles because I don't like them. Okay. So, our donuts are just about glazed. Mm -hmm. So, this is where you need the knife. Are you comfortable using a knife? Um, we're gonna find out. All right, so you want to grab a nice sharp knife. Sure thing. I'm squeezed by you. Should be big or small. What am I doing? A cutting knife. Don't all knives cut? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, go big or go home. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> my goodness. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. So you want... This is the scariest thing in the world to me. All right. So you want to cut them about an inch, like a real inch. Okay. And go along. Is this going to cut or is it going to smash it? If you use this part of the knife, it's always sharper because you use it less. And here are our delicious yeast donuts. Are these markings an inch? No, because they're uneven. Got it. Do you want assistance or you got it? Probably. That wasn't um, a... Girl, this can... <laughs> I can already I... need assistance. It doesn't fit. Okay, well... If you would have given me a minute, I would have done that. All right. So we'll just do one, because this has been a really long episode. Right? But you guys enjoy long episodes. I think I got long. super ambitious in putting You're the You're like, donuts are easy. Let's do everything. Okay, so after you got them, just let them cool to room temperature, mm -hmm. and then you can keep them in the refrigerator for up to a week. Okay. All right, cool. And then when you take them out of the refrigerator, it's just like a fruit by the foot where you can just like... Cute. Well. Once it's cooled down. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to take a poll. When you guys eat fruit by the foot, do you unroll the whole thing and eat it slowly, or do you take it off the thing, bunched up, and then eat it? Because no. I, know, I know some monsters like that. No, you do not. No. The answer is no. You do not bunch it up. That is awful. You eat a little bit at a time, and then you have the paper on your chin, and the fruit roll up in your mouth. I mean, they have to make a, a poll. Comment below okay. how you eat it. Don't listen to our advice. How do you eat fruit by the foot? All right. So on that note. Mm-hmm. Our donuts are done. They look delicious. They I'm do. starving now. Mm -hmm. The fruit by the foot is going to go into the refrigerator. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I want to thank Sienna again for joining me tonight. Thank after you for having me. Fantastic performance. Yes, but you can stream now on Troop429's Facebook page. Yeah. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the Drag Queen, uh, the Drag Story Storytime Time. Connecticut. Facebook page. At 11. And then I'll be back here with this lady at 8 p.m. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Mwah. Okay, how oh. long do these take to cool? Because I want one right now. Enjoy it. Just go right now. It. Just do it. All right, I feel like I'm at Krispy Kreme, actually. Oh, wow. These are ooey gooey.